Hey, my name is Effie. I live in Toronto, Ontario, and I'm a photographer and videographer. I have a shoot with my nurse, Erica. She recently just had a baby, and the best thing we can do right now is take some pictures on the porch and have a cute little family session. Hi. Are you ready? For your porch session? Your big photo shoot? I know Effie because she is one of my patients with ulcerative colitis. Our relationship basically developed into a friendship. Ulcerative colitis is not something that everyone knows about. <laughs> When I was born, my parents decided that they would document a lot by capturing a lot of photos and videos. I love you. She always wanted to, to do the filming, so you could see her in many shots, walking up to the camera. Me, me take pictures. Effie, cuts. <laughs> not bad, not bad. <laughs> So I was up at a friend's cottage when I started to feel some really bad stomach cramps. I had to go to the bathroom a lot. When I got back, at first the doctors thought I just had food poisoning. My symptoms continued and I started to see blood in my stool. My doctor then decided to schedule a colonoscopy because of my ongoing symptoms. My parents were with me the whole time and they were maybe more scared than I was. We didn't know what it was. I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. Emotionally, there was a lot of despair, fear, wondering what's gonna happen, like how bad is this gonna get? What can we do to help? I always wanted to be, keep her spirits up, but I think the way she is, she was keeping my spirits up. My relationship with my doctor has been really great. I was frustrated because some things weren't working and I wasn't getting better. So we worked together to develop a disease management plan that worked for me. My family and I were really thankful. <clears throat> I always get emotional when I get here because uh, that day it felt like he... <clears throat> we, we finally found somebody who knew and he had, he had a plan. When I was diagnosed, I couldn't leave the house because I couldn't be away from the bathroom. I was living a high-stress lifestyle, so I decided to make some lifestyle changes. I realized that the best way for me to deal with my disease is to be open and honest with everyone around me, and that meant explaining what I had and explaining the symptoms that I have and why I can't do certain things and why I'm canceling plans. Educating myself on ulcerative colitis really empowered me. I felt comfortable talking to my doctors. I started to make videos to help me come to terms with what's going on. Perfect. I met Keith in 2016. He was super supportive, trying to help me figure out what worked best for me. He's kind of like my little guardian angel. Oh. She's just the type of person that will just look on the bright side of things. What I would have to tell patients with ulcerative colitis is to not be ashamed to speak about it. It's very important to advocate for themselves. I feel like Effie has a very positive and bright future ahead of her. I would want other people with ulcerative colitis to know that it can get better. You can find ways to manage your ulcerative colitis, and I found that the best way for me to do it was to educate myself and be an informed patient. For me, UC is invisible, can be debilitating, and it's life-changing. I see life-changing in a good way, and what I mean by that is that I love my life the way it is right now.